Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chad with CV Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's head shave and a product profiling. Today, we are profiling one of Sterling's new releases, Varen or Varen, depending on how you say it. I don't speak Dutch. That's right, Dutch. This is Dutch for the word fern, and uh, I don't speak that, so I'm going to just say Varen. That's how it is, and that's what's happening there. So this is the newest release, one of the newest releases from uh, Sterling Soap Company. Some people don't bother to review a profile Sterling because they say that they're too big or that you know they they're all set, they don't need it, that sort of thing. I just profile what I like, and I happen to like this one. And let me show you the soap. I was blooming it or soaking it. There it is, right there. As far as off the puck is concerned, it's a very heavy scent. Very, very heavy scent. I'm very happy with this scent so far. I mean, just smelling it in and of itself, it smells to me like a nice cologne-based scent. Speaking of which, uh, Sterling is known for doing a lot of cologne dupes or ins inspirations. This one happens to be one of their own. It has taken a couple of years to produce, and they have it, finally, and they did not fail. This is definitely something I could... I can see myself wearing on a regular basis. It's really, really nice. It's kind of a, uh, a dark, heavy scented. It's somewhat earthy, but more cologne-y. I know that's kind of all over the place as far as my description goes, but stay with me. All right, so we do have the matching aftershave to go with it right here. Uh, this stuff I smell a little bit out of the bottle. It smells quite nice, and I can't wait to throw that on to see how that works. As far as mowing of the face, uh, excuse me, mowing of the head, we have the Mule R41 safety razor going on on our Parker handle. I like that Parker handle because it's got more of a knurling on it. We are throwing in a Paul Silver blade right here, and that blade is on its second or third use. I don't remember which now, but either way, I'll usually be tossing it after a couple because they aren't cheap enough. And of course, we can't forget our post shave. Witch Hazel in the JD bottle. That's going to be there. Peach scented. All right. That's the shave uh, equipment for the day. We're going to get this uh, soap lather. Actually, you know what? One thing. How could I forget? Can't lather the soap without a brush. Dogwood handle brush. As you can see, it's a combination of wood and resin. Beautiful, beautiful job on this. And a synthetic knot. So we're going to go ahead and get this uh, soap loaded up and get ready to do our head lather. Stay with us. Sterling Shave Soap Company seems to be a staple in most wet shaver dens. Whether it's a sample, full tub, or an empty tub eagerly awaiting a refill puck in the mail, most people seem to be in agreement that Sterling makes a great shave soap. They have a talent for detecting scent notes and creating cologne-inspired products that seem to be always right on par. Having said that, Varen is actually one of their own. Two years in the making, it was created for a Dutch-based wet shave forum and aptly given the name Varen, which is Dutch for fern. This offering is a tallow-based shave soap that comes in a 5.8 ounce container with a screw top lid and waterproof label. It is currently available at sterlingsoap.com for $13.50. The matching aftershave is also available in a 100 milliliter glass bottle for $13.20. For me, this scent is a very heavy, earthy type of scent. It reminds me a bit of walking into a European shave shop that's been around since the early 1900s. Dark wood, creaky floors, low lighting, and friendly storekeeper are there to answer any questions you might have. The oak moss and lavender actually jumps out first with a slight wave of vetiver and it ends with a one-two punch of the cedar and geranium. Although I'm not so sure the other supporting notes are detectable by me, they are definitely there. As far as I'm concerned, this scent is fantastic. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. As you can see, the brush is loaded up and ready to go. Again, the, you know what? You just you can't go wrong with Sterling. These the, these tubs are massive. You get a, a, a five point eight ounce container. I mean, there's just tons of soap in there, especially for the money. You know, the, these guys are well well under twenty bucks. I mean, sometimes I mean a lot of times, especially if you get a good sale on there, sometimes you can get them for 
closer to even 10, depending on what, you know, not quite $10, but you know, you can get them down pretty low depending on the type of sale that they're having, but you just can't go wrong with this stuff. I mean, there's so much soap here, for the amount of money that you're dropping and they, the tubs seem to last forever. So, all right, let's throw a little bit of water on our head here. And let's get this shape out. back shave has been completed as you can see don't look for perfection dop status no nicks cuts areas of abrasion or irritation no complaints smooth as glass i love when i have a shave like that it's awesome nothing starts the day like a great shave anyway so having said that since strength on this soap Remains strong throughout the rest of the shave. I had no complaints there. And it wasn't overpowering. It's not like the whole bathroom smells like it, which doesn't always bother me at all. But some people have a problem with that. It doesn't. It just, you know, you can definitely detect the scent. It also doesn't change, which is nice. I've had that happen a couple of times. Throw a little witch hazel on here. There we go. And it doesn't... You know, it doesn't change, the, the the notes don't seem to change throughout the, sh the shave at all, which is kind of nice. Uh, sometimes that happens and that, you know, you can detect more notes over others throughout the shave. And it's not a huge deal, it just is. This stayed the same throughout the whole deal, which I'm pretty happy with. Most cologne scents are kind of like that, I've noticed, or cologne based. So, here we go with the aftershave. As far as the scent strength on this is concerned, it smells <laughs> just as strong as the soap if not stronger. I do detect, you know, kind of an earthy scent to it, you know, but it, it, it matches the soap perfectly, which is good in my book. I like things that match right on. I mean, if they don't, they don't. It's not a huge deal, but it's just kind of an added bonus as far as I'm concerned. Incidentally, I did finish the shave with an Allen block. Um, some people don't do this, and I kind of got away from this for a while, but I've been putting that on my skin just to kind of tighten everything up. It's not really a, um, a negative on the soap or the aftershave. It's just kind of an added thing that I do to my head whenever I shave. Yep. The earthy, earthiness, almost like a, a slight, slight dirt scent. It doesn't smell like you're outside smelling a big pile of mud. That's not what I mean. Just a slight earthy scent comes out to it. It's really nice. It's gonna be, yeah, this is gonna be nice on a day like this. It's supposed to be uh, not too, too hot, just, just about right about, not really any humidity, just a nice day. And this is gonna be great for that, especially where I'm gonna be outside. So that is the shave. However, those of you that watch my videos may have noticed the omitted one thing. That would be 
the holiday of the day. Today's holiday of the day is National Joke Day. Ladies and gentlemen, go celebrate National Joke Day. Play games on your coworkers. Play games on your spouses. You know, the old saran wrap over the uh, toilet. It's always a good one. Or put a whole bunch of sticky notes. Um, filled up somebody's car once with Rice Krispie treats. That was wonderful. And we actually, I rigged my brother's drawer once. So when he opened it, a, whole, a balloon exploded with a whole bunch of flour all over his face. It was awesome. Uh, if you PM me, I'll explain to you just how to do that. So it works great. It does make a bit of a mess. Just a disclaimer there. Anyway. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is The Shave. Thank you very much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, but make sure you knock that bell. That way you get a notification every time and do a new video here at CD Shaven. Ladies and gentlemen, if you shave, have great shaves. Have a great rest of the day, and we'll see you guys and girls in the next video.